Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I filmed for you guys just my everyday look. Sometimes I don't wear mascara and sometimes I don't wear eyeshadow. So, um, but I mean, this is, this is it. This is every day. So yeah, I will link everything down in the bottom bar that I use. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe if you would like to continue on this fabulous, wonderful journey called life. We are headed down. So, uh, let's get into it. Why do people live in winter climates? It's dark all the time and it's cold. Let's take the makeup forever. Mattifying base. I literally take that much per section of my skin. Just pat it in lightly. Now I'm using the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Foundation. I gotta work a little quick with this. So. Because it kind of dries down into like a. Kind of dries into like a powder. Kinda. Um, it dries to a matte finish, and so it doesn't. It dries kind of quick. So it doesn't really offer too much like leeway with this. So you gotta work, gotta work with it. But it's buildable. It lasts all day. It's just it doesn't break me out. That's always a, that's always a plus. Next we're gonna use the Naked Skin Concealer in Fair Neutral. So I know everybody's hyped up on the Shape Tape bandwagon and I am too I really am I can't use it underneath my eyes I am I react to something in it and I don't know what it is but I react to something in it Lockage powder. Set all this. So, go get your buff. Basically, anywhere I put the concealer is where I set powder. Well, I mean, I've set powder my whole face, but like translucent powder. I set my whole face. I have to set my whole face. Uh, Sephora. This is the Micro Smooth, like, radiant powder or something. It does not say that on the back, but that's what it says on the website. I am using 15 Nude. Usually I use the Bravo Conditioning Primer, but I do it before um, my makeup, like when I'm doing my um, um, moisturizer and stuff because this tends to break up foundation, but that's okay. We won't use this today. So the Anastasia brow is duh. My crowning achievement is one time I did my brows without looking at a mirror. It was my crowning achievement. There. 
I am going to run brow gel through it, so we're good on that front. But yeah, this side likes to do this, and this side kind of sits up straight and then goes like that. So we both have to sit up straight. The shape may not have to be the same, but the style, the way they go, have to be. I'm getting cold. So the bronzer I'm using right now is the Tarte Park Avenue Princess Amazonian Clay Waterproof Bronzer. Looks like this. Um, this is a little red for me. I'm into it. Um, it gets a little red if you like get a little heavy-handed with it. So I just do a little light hand and dust off the excess. When I was younger, I basically thought bronzer was like face powder and it would like change my skin tone if I put it all over my face because I was so white. You can see. So these are all, these are my favorite shadows, my favorite highlights, my favorite blush, and then the last spare lashes. Spare lashes. So this, these two, these three right here usually are what I use. So first I go in with warm brown and soft taupe and just kind of mix those two together just throw these in the crease i like to keep my brush straight or up either way i don't like to go down like this because i find it makes my eye a little smaller than it needs to be than it already is Whatever is left on my brush, I sweep down to my brow or my lid, and then I take made to last and do the same thing. Then I take the three of them, same brush really, and I just sweep that underneath, kind of do a whole. I'm just going to take my um, setting spray and we're just going to spray the face and then we're going to take the flat side, this is the Real Techniques sponge, um, and we're going to take the flat side of the sponge and press it in. It's like the best trick I ever learned. I think I learned it from Alyssa Ashley, I think, in her like Flawless Foundation video. So just lightly tap all of it in. So we're going to take the Fenty Beauty. The Fenty Beauty. Uh, this is the Kilowatt Highlighter in Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. But Lightning Dust is what I use like Not saying that it's not like you know not saying it's not like a bling and highlighter it's just not like glittery I guess not that the light or the fire crystal is has like chunks of glitter in it or anything like that um, but it's that more like bling -in. The Tarte's Light Camera Lashes Mascara. I love this mascara. This is in like the unicorn packaging or the mermaid packaging, I think. I can't remember which one it is. Oh, I have to care. And 
uh, for like brow gel. Um, I use the Ma Maybelline Brow Precise Fiber Volumizer. So this stuff just like, I always like scoot off all the excess because there's so much excess on this brush. But, but, because the little baby fibers and stuff. Um, but I find that the little baby fibers just make everything look a lot more natural. So, start with a light hand on the outer parts of my brow. Because in case it gets dark. That's where I want the darkness. I don't want the darkness up here. I want the darkness over here. But I just like this stuff. This stuff just kind of reanimates your brows from the waxiness of the brow is or the waxiness of a pencil. It's just good. It just works. It's good. It's good. It's good. So it just gives it just look more hair. As you can even see in the camera. It just gives it more more hair. Just good. I will always take more hair. More hair over everything. I don't really like doing a lip color during the day, but because I have so much foundation and stuff all on my lips, I don't like going out like this either. So my favorite thing to do is use the Bite Agave Lip Mask. The Bite Agave Lip Mask. I love this stuff and I was hesitant to like recommend it to people because it's a little pricey. It's $18 for this thing. I've had this tube <laughs> for probably six months and I've barely made a dent in it. I've pushed basically most of it up. Um, I wish it had better packaging though. So, like, so whatever I use usually on my brow bone is what I do in my inner corner for like an everyday thing, unless you know, or I use my highlighter, like my face highlighter, either one. Just, I like to tie the look in together, so whichever one does that for me is the one I pick. It's not. Then I spray it down for real. Mm. We're running out. Good thing we're going to the mall today. The Tatcha Luminous. I just had the baby bottle because I like to travel with this. Huh, I need more. Um. The dewy skin mist because this foundation tends because it does have that really really matte finish it tends to look a little drying and a little ages me a little bit gets into all your little wrinkles and i'm only 22 i don't have a lot of wrinkles and it just kind of gets into all those wrinkles and you're like oh shit shit dude so I just like to spray that down. Um, it's just the best. So I keep this in my bag with me. I keep the Mario Badesco with me just to kind of freshen this up because it can look a little dry. But that's what oily skin is for, really, is to just, you know, do up that foundation. But this stuff's kind of a little. That is it. My hair is not done, but that's okay. That is, that is okay. So. That is it. That's pretty much my everyday look if I'm wearing eye makeup. If I'm not wearing eye makeup, I pretty much do everything but the highlighter and the eye makeup. It's pretty much just bronzer, brows, and foundation and chapstick. That's pretty much it. Um, all right, everyone. So that is the finished look. Something just really, really simple and easy. And honestly, I mean, it takes me longer than I'd like to admit because I'm just a little crazy. Like I said in the beginning, I will link everything in the bottom bar below. Uh, because I know I forgot to say some things. Um, I would also like to thank all of my friends and everybody who watched the video and all the positive feedback because it was really nerve-wracking to put the video out there and just do that. I don't know why, it just was. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys soon. Bye!